Wait. Hold on. Head to Old Isra. Oh, good. You stopped. No time for details. People eager to see me dead will come over that hill at any moment. So, want to earn some easy gold? See, Morak Tong agent. Tell Hulan. The tower at Ald Isra's east end. Inside, there's a green mushroom. By that mushroom, there's a dark elf. She'll probably insult you. She's my contact. Deliver this letter, then walk away with a pocket full of gold. Better you don't know. But, fine. There's a spy among the Assembly of Masters. My contact's here to end the threat. Look, can you take this letter to her? Don't open it, don't look at it, don't talk about it. Hand it over, and you're done. Deal? Remember, a dark elf by a green mushroom in Telhulan. Tell her, both light and shadow can be deadly. She'll reply, though only one chases the other. Then hand over the letter, and she'll give you gold. Now, go while I lead my pursuers away. The people working for the spy, that's my assumption at least. When a dagger flew past my head, I took off. Look, you don't want to know any more about this. You don't need details to deliver a letter, and the more you know, the greater the danger. It's just another Telvani town. Its claim to fame is that the Assembly of Masters congregates there. Look, I'm from the other side of Morrowind. I just had orders to meet my contact here and deliver that letter. Want to know more? Ask a local. You don't have time for this. Look, the name is misleading. Telvani masters never assemble. Instead, they send their assistants, the mouths, to represent them. So it's really the assembly of mouths. But no one wants to call it that. Can I go now? Get to Telhulin. I'll draw up my pursuers. Okay. Plot, plots upon plots. You there! I have a message for you. Incredible. It's just like the High Elf said. She described you down to your footwear, and she even knew exactly when you'd pass by this exact spot. Uh huh. Lever I have a message Leramil. for you, sir. Yo, from Leramil. It's pretty straightforward. Leramil wants you to meet her at Telrendis. Something about a contract you signed. She said fate requires her to be there too, so she'll meet you just outside the tower grounds. Ugh, just a lot of nonsense about fate and threads and such. If I didn't know better, I'd swear she was a master or a magister. She said that if you want answers about her patron's adversary, not mine, you need to join her there. I can't believe the Necropolis turned us away! This is unheard of. We travel a long way to visit our ancestors in the Necropolis. But the keepers of the... Someone from the temple, a prelate forum, closed the Necropolis of Necrom. I wonder so why. the monks were all sick. Some sort of plague. We were dismissed like beggars at the city gate, but I didn't believe a word of it. I'm not sure. A young Keeper of the Dead, Curate Cadain, was with the Prelate. I got the sense he didn't agree with Prelate Farum's decision, but his hands were tied. If the Necropolis isn't opened again soon, who knows what the Ancestors will do? Yeah, that's, that's up there. Main, main quest. I need to return the mission, gather all stuff, and deliver them to here. Ah, ah, excellent! Yes, I see you found the remaining ingredients. Knew you could do it. Knew you could. Give them to me, if you please. Everything else is prepared. Well done. Hm. Yes, just needs a bit of finessing. Brilliant! Should be all ready now to give to Oathman Lero. <sighs> May I ask one more favor? Could you give it to him in my stead? Last I saw him, he was meeting with Spellwright Varsva. Oh, you know the usual cleaning this, tossing that, busy, busy. I also. I, I need to avoid the mushrooms. Yes, that's it, the mushrooms. All those spores in that area are murder on the sinuses. To be honest, I tried to keep a good distance from Oathman Laro. 
I do some apothecary work for him and gather any ingredients he needs for his own work, but best not to get underfoot. He's a yeller, you know. The Vec never! I could never. He would strike me dead for speaking out of turn, with spells and such. I mostly keep my head down and stay out of his way whenever possible. That's why you should deliver the tincture, not me. For him at for the gate. Ah, Space Marine too. Hmm. You, yes, the one who talked to Balva. Follow me. Uh, okay. What's happening? Saw you talking with Britannia Balva. He's up to something. Perhaps old Edrog can help you find out, eh? For the proper price. I'm just a servant doing their tasks around all Isra. A P servant with the ice. house's best interest in mind, you see. Servant, retainer, oathman, spell right. Regardless of station, we all do what we must to get by. Edra Lathra. It's all in your head! Keep fighting! Apple shot the entry. So, ah, uh, somebody is killing the seeker. And he attacked me. So, so definitely. Uh, I mean, when they do, then we fight. I'll try not to. So these are pretty bad bosses. Uh, Seeker hasn't lost. Ah, it has lost a lot, actually. But these are probably something that you should actually fight with your friends rather. Ring, ring of duality. Okay. These are boss. Boss prizes. So yes, <laughs> four more. Ah. Well, they are bosses. Okay. So after this small break from the questing, <laughs> let's return back to the. Back to the quest. So, so you, you were saying. Retainer Balva. He's up. To Edra Lathrin. I serve Retainer Balva. But that's not important. Like I said, Balva is up to something. Stinks. Maybe some coin will help me remember what it was. Mm, yes. Coins jog the memory a bit. 
I remember seeing Barva's journal. He keeps it in the basement of the retainer's billet. Read it, and I'm sure you'll find out what he's really up to. They say that the crop is well. And once again, we are in the dire need of. Oh no, there's one, one person here. Poison. Okay, he's planning to poison the Oathman and beware. This goes of actually. Ah, let's try Tribune. So beware. This close to actually actually be a accomplice in the murder. I need, I need those Ins invisibility Give potions. Give Laro the tincture, and all will be well. Just a quick job. No, no, I would never. B well, yes, I would. <laughs> Please, just give him the poison. I, I mean, the tincture. I'll take blame if you get caught. Just deliver it to him. He's truly awful. Bullying, boorish, with bad taste in clothes. Uh -huh, okay. Need I go on? This is the Telvani Peninsula. What other options do I have? If I just make him sick, he'll blame me for it. If I do nothing, I'll just continue to be bullied. Please, take the tincture. But just don't tell him. That's all I ask. Oh, stop complaining, Lero. Your headaches are no excuse for poor results. You are of House Telvani. Find a remedy and press on. Ah, do you need something? I don't have time to waste with someone below my station. <laughs> do we poison Telvani or, or do we not to, poison Telvani? Is aching. <laughs> this is great. Ah, uh, uh, here's your tincture. Enjoy. Oh, don't mind if I do. Balva Bemis sent word that he had made a tincture for me. Glad you managed not to get lost. Damn these headaches. Makes it hard to concentrate and deal with my indolent and incompetent retainers. Why did you drink uh, some drink that made uh, was made by incompetent retainer? <laughs> Careless fool! Didn't even take a whiff before guzzling down a vial from a stranger. Well, I suppose his seat is empty now. <laughs> I wonder who will claim it. It worked? It worked! Is he... Oh, he is quite dead. Um, good. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, we did it. Thank you so much. It feels as though a great weight has been lifted from my chest. I can't thank you enough for playing your part. Seek you did wonderfully, yeah. and I am freed from my terrible predicament now. I don't know how to repay you. Or, wait, I do. I, here's the coin I promised. And I can get the fragment of the dick. Any delay is unacceptable. We hired the Morag Tong to deal with this problem. Bellow all you want. It won't change my process. Oh, it's in that narrow. Outrageous! How dare you Master Phobes, a word, if I may. Don't yell to the assassin. 
It's Naru. <laughs> Our favorite Dunmer. Well, look what the Nixox dragged in. What are you doing here, hero? Are you following me again? Seriously, what brings you to this house of arrogance and whining? Though only one chases the other. All right, it's obvious Folsi sent you, and she gave you the code of a courier. That tells me you have something for me. Go on, then. Hand it over. Folsi can fend for herself. Right now, I need to see if she learned anything to point me to the true identity of my target. To Desim, the name on the writ is an alias. Okay, well, I can see that being a problem. According to Fosi, House Drez established a camp to the south. Yeah, that, that can be a problem if the Frit has allies. So he, he, she's, she's legalized assassin. First, he seems to think so. Since you want to get paid, how about you help me out? I need to assassinate a spy and tell Hulan. But to do that, I need to figure out who actually deserves my blade. It's quite legal. I have a Morag Tong bit of execution. A binding document that gives me the authority to eliminate the name on the writ. We figure out who Tridesim actually is, I finish the job, you get paid, and we go home. Not together, <laughs> necessarily. Depends on my mood. Yep. So, what do you say? Uh, she, she has uh, this illustrated uh, diary of Nehru was, that was published some years ago. And yeah, she, she has lots of lovers. So, that's, that's well, she's assassin and follows the Mephala, which which is data of the murder and sex. So, why not? Congratulations, you're my new Fosse. First, go to the servants' quarters to the west and ask Akigo about the spy. Then, visit the Drez camp to the south and see if they have any connection to this Tredesim. I need to keep watch here, just in case. You mean other than the fact that I have a writ for someone named Tredesim who apparently doesn't exist? That House Drez has a nearby camp? Or that I want you to question a servant named Akigo? Which of those would you like me to spell out for you? Because Fosi thought me knowing about it was important enough to involve you. House Drez controls the land far to the south, near the Black Marsh border. Them setting up a camp near here could be coincidence, but it's worth checking out. Akigo is a contact I cultivated the last time business brought me out this way. For a minor servant, he excels at avoiding notice and absorbing everything that happens in town. He'll only help if it's safe. He knows what the Talvani do to traitors. It was part of the writ, provided by whichever scribe the masters had contact the Morag Tong. But since no one here knows anyone with that name, it must be an alias. Believe me, when I figure out who took out the writ, I plan to ask them about that. Are you sure? Don't want to ask about my favorite beverage, how I look so good without any effort, or which scrib I favor in tonight's race? God, then let's get to work, hero. It's not, and I couldn't care less about the Telvani. House full of arrogant arses. I'd put each of them to the blade if I had the writs for it. This is strictly business. The assembly took out a writ. I'm here to enforce it. Foes is a typical Telvani master. Full of himself and twice as annoying. Sulis is reasonable, but he's hiding something. Then there's the servant Zemzo. I expected to deal mostly with servants and mouths. Surprised to find this many masters here. Hmm. Not much, in my opinion. They're all yeah. just interested in gaining power, stabbing each other in the back, and earning higher ranks in the house. Mouths serve their masters, representing them so the masters don't have to leave their towers. Just that lickspittle Alem Gito, he's Foves' aid, made a good okay, choice no, no of servience, didn't he? Like all Telvani's servants, I assume he's quietly vying for power in some way. The sooner we're done and I can leave, the better I'll feel. Ah, hero. If we had a bottle of wine and all the time in the world, the stories I could tell you. But I really want to complete this writ and then wash the stink of the Talvani out of my hair. 
You mean other than the fact that I had it. Akigo is a contact I cultivated the last Because Fosi thought me no. Akigo. Because Fosi okay, thought okay. Are you sure? Don't want to ask. It's not. And okay. I couldn't care this, less this about the telephone. I didn't family. ask. How's the information discussed during the meetings of the Assembly of Masters has gotten out? One of the Maus accused this Tredesim, and the Masters applied for the writ. Unfortunately, Lovely. no one here is named Tredesim. <laughs> Means next, we actually yeah, need to yeah, do some okay. work. No, Sulis. I'm out of patience. We need this finished now! Master Foes, calm yeah. yourself. This solves nothing. Come, Gito. Leave the hireling to her work. Yes, Master Foes. Well, unlike Foes, I am at your service should you require anything. Hmm. Interesting. Threat of the Pandari Peddlers. High Priestess Satakala. That's Red Guard. Pandari <laughs> Evil Spirits Incarnate. to do everything for yourself to get by out here. Don't expect any kindness or helping hands. I have nothing to say to you, friend of the Dark Lady. Word travels fast in old Isra, outsider. I heard you work with the Dark Lady. Last time she came through, I had to clean up three bodies. <laughs> if she sent you to ask for my help again, the answer is, politely, no. I do not want her to be angry with me. Just information? No risk to scale or tail? Very well. I don't know about a spy, but a servant leaves the quarters late every Sundas and Midas night, then returns early the next morning. No idea who, but there's always a strange smell the next day. What? No, it's locked for a reason. We servants don't have that much. I won't let a stranger in to go through our meager belongings. Nope, this key stays right here with me. You wouldn't. You would? Fine. Working for House Telvani is just one terrible moment after another. Here. But I don't want to know anything about what you do in there. Just leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it once you leave. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, mushroom box. Fake jewelry. Praise the tribunal. Beat up bootlocker. Cacoated mask. I wonder why. Did you see that woman outside? If looks could kill, she wouldn't need those knives. Shh. She asked about her assistant. Just keep your head down. Hey, hero. Find anything pertinent right to my writ. Notice how the servants around here love me. Yes. They know I'm here for bigger scribs than them. Well, come to think of it, I have had a writ or two for servants over the years. Three, actually. 
Anyway, find anything useful in there? Okay, so it was three servants she had to kill here. You brought me a jar. Interesting. Ugh, it reeks like Asha's undergarments. Yeah, sure. Why in the Pro world probably. would a servant need a jar of Kaguti musk? I can't think of a single useful purpose other than to stink up the place. Did Akigo have any useful information? Well, I'd say you'd found the source of the spell. But why go out on specific nights just to return with a jar of stink? Could it be some sort of weird romantic rendezvous? That's no courting ritual that I'm familiar with. Anything else? Well, better get to it. I need to get back to Chalhulan and see if I can spot anything out of the ordinary going on with the mouths or masters. See you soon, hero. Yeah, she might be... Or, well... The servant might, might be a... Tank set. Although the health recover could be like pretty great for other other glasses as well. Shadow loser. Until you've got your footing. I think I'm getting good at this. Oh, I probably shouldn't be proud of that. How fresh seems to have a new style. That might not be the new style, actually. But just ebony style from the... Which is older set. We have a usual number of the rule breakers. Siphon. Okay, they, they are sponsoring spies. Say they came or add a agent inside. So it was Sulis who made uh, made for the ask for the breed. They are acting like a slavers, but they are not really. Over here. 
here, hero. Got anything interesting for me? Felsi's report didn't do this place justice. This isn't a camp. It's a House Dres foothold in House Tulvani territory. Any chance you found anything that will help us find the spy in there? Well, that narrows down the list of suspects, and it also tells us how they exchange information with their contact. They're using the Kuguti nests to the north as a pickup spot. Did you find anything else? Add all this to that jar of Kaguti mask you found in the servants' quarters, and I think we're getting close to catching our spy. <laughs> Using false names to identify the masters. Clever. And demonstrates a sense of humor. Not quite yet. This could just be another diversion. Let's not jump to too many conclusions just yet. So, it appears that an aide or servant leaves messages for House Drez at the Kaguti nest to the north using the mask to keep from being attacked. First, go to Talhulan and update Master Sulis. Then we'll check on those next. The clues indicate that Tredesim is an aide to one of the masters, who also sleeps in the servant quarters. They use Kukuti Musk to approach the northern nests to exchange messages with House Dres. Update Master Sulis, then join me at the nests. Not a bad time to review the evidence. Though I strongly advise that you not mention any of this to the mouths and masters at Telhulun. Where would you like to- Hmm, hard to say with confidence. Tudesim sent a letter requesting a transfer of gold into Master Sulis' bank account. And we could interpret that as evidence of his involvement, but it could just be a diversion. Let's not draw the wrong conclusion. Only speculation. It probably has something to do with that secret project the servant mentioned. Something that Masters Sulis, Foves, and Thuzi are working on. Beyond that, it could be anything. A lot of important business happens in Telhulan. The Drez call the spy Tredesim. They're a servant, but more than that, a personal aide to one of the Talvani masters. We also know that Tredesim passes information to the camp house Drez established outside Aldezra. We deduce that Tredesim leaves their quarters late at night to drop information off at the northern Kaguti nests. They use Musk to keep the beasts from attacking. Good, because we still have a lot to do. Head back to Telhulan and update Master Sulis. Placate him, but don't give him any more information than necessary. We're still not sure if he's involved. Then meet me at those Kaguti nests to the north. Ah, you're assisting the Morag Tong agent, correct? As busy as I am, I can always spare a moment for the hired help. Oh, that is good to hear. Even though the Assembly enacted the writ, I know that Naryu is under no obligation to keep us informed. I appreciate it. I know better than to ask for specific details. The Morag Tong prefers to work unhindered. Anything else? The Masters send representatives to the Assembly. Our mouths. They have the authority to speak in our names. Some sessions require a Master or two to attend, as well as any aides and servants. Scribes take notes so every Master can stay informed. You did, did you? Interesting. Yes, I'm working on something with Masters Foves and Thilsey. We've been meeting frequently until fairly recently, then Foves stopped attending. He's worried about the spy. His aide delivers him notes after each meeting. A very informative update. Thank you. Now you should get back to it. We'll all feel safer and more secure once this spy has been dealt with. Permanently. To a Telvani master such as myself, everyone is a spy and a threat. It's something of our way of life. Hence the need for you and the Morag Tong assassin. A fresh set of eyes and a dagger to get the job done. I suggest you get back to it. Not especially. <coughs> I suggest we... Sure. Hireling, I hope you have a strong sense of discretion. Talking to Master Sulis like that may not be wise. I have concerns about him. Have you and the Assassin made progress? I totally understand. 
What some call paranoia, I call prudent caution. This spy could cause irreparable damage to the Assembly, if not to House Telvanni itself. Tell me, what did you and Master Sulis talk about just now? Did he now? How easily he let slip <coughs> confidential information to a stranger. I know others find me grating, but I've spent my life making House Telvanni stronger. This spy threatens our stability. I need you to find them. Eliminate this threat. I don't like this feeling of the wolves at the door. Your confidence encourages me. Thank you for talking with me. Now I must go. I swear my aide Gito is avoiding me. Just between us, he's let his grooming lapse. His odor is quite unpleasant. Hmm? Oh, Alam Gito. Yes, he's been my loyal assistant for a number of years. Maybe I've been working him too hard. Seems like he has no time to keep up his appearance and the smell. Perhaps I should get him a room outside the seventh Maybe, quarters. maybe he's not a spy. Just a messenger. I'm suspicious of everyone, especially my peers and rivals. You have to be, in my position. Sulis, though, he's changed. I don't like it. He has a new urgency about hmm. him. Always wants to talk about some new idea or another. For example, Sulis mentioned our secret project, yes? He insists that we meet in person. And with a spy and possible assassin roaming this tower? Ridiculous! What? No, of course not. What part of the word <laughs> secret are you unfamiliar with? No, I cannot discuss our project. Sulis should never have mentioned it to begin with. Interesting. Tribunal window. <laughs> we no longer be alarmed with it, but you're at least you're feeling. Interesting. Fun. Let's talk where there's some fresh air. Naru <laughs> appeared behind me. Okay. I smell like a kagudi. This place smells like a kagudi, and you definitely smell like a kagudi. Oh, going to. Yeah, he responded. I smell like a kagudi. This place. Master Foves's aid. Interesting. Once House Drez heard about the writ, they must have panicked. Not so fast, hero. Have we found everything here at the kagudi nests? There might be more clues scattered around this Drez message relay. If Gito and the Drez used this site often, they could have left behind other information. Treasure box. Find his keepers, as they say. False, he's dead. Pe 
better made maidens near. Spatter of set counts. <clears throat> Naru, you need a new age. Here's the other one. You bleed before I let you find our spy. I smell like a kagudi. This place smells like a kagudi. Master Foves' aid. Not so fast, hero. Have we found... Ugh, oh, what's that on the letter? Are you sure that's just mud? Why don't you just read it to me from over there? Some sort of Talvani secret project? Hmm, Gito is playing a very dangerous game by passing along that kind of information. Well, dangerous enough for someone to hire the Morag Tong. Anything else? Bristleback, Sparrow, that letter, and the dress camp explained these code names. This means Master Phobes worked with Gito this whole time. They even tried to frame Master Sulis as the spy. Can't say I'm overly surprised. I'll return to Telhulan. If Kito is there, we can wrap this up. You should join me. But I don't recommend bringing up what else we know. There's too many holes, and you just mark us for a blade in the belly. Meet me in Telhulan. We can finish this there. Tell me, assassin. Looks like we got to that letter before Gito. He never is. Not yet, but I'm about to. Looks like we got to that letter before Gito. He never received his orders to slip away and make a break for the dress camp. Makes my life easier. Now I complete my writ. I figured you'd want to witness the professional at work. After all your help, you've earned that right. The rules are quite explicit. I can only terminate the person or persons listed on my writ, and this writ only person covers Trudism. Writ can be we know about several Gito, persons. So he's my only target. A Talvani master may be guilty of scheming, but that's nothing new. <laughs> Part of the job. She did, did she? I suppose you did go out of your way to help a woman with a writ. Here you go, payment is promised. Never let it be said that Noryuvirian doesn't pay for services rendered. Thanks again, hero. Now, for my final bit of business. Interesting set. Master Phobes, it seems your aid has been speaking out of turn. No. Mercy, please. If you're certain, assassin, then do as you will. No. You'll have to catch me first. Okay. That wasn't. <laughs> Help is so difficult to come by. Pity you had to kill one of the good ones. It takes so long to find someone you can trust, raise them up, teach them how best to serve you. So much time invested. Then they go into this. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> now, please, leave me be. With that, the writ is complete. I'm still curious why Gito decided to betray his master. But I suppose that doesn't really matter at this point. In a place like this, you don't always need a reason for betrayal. Sharpening my blades, you never know how soon I'll need to draw them again. Then a trip to Necrom, I think. I should pay my respects at the Necropolis while I'm in the area. I put a lot of ancestors in those catacombs. I see the Morag Tong was able to close out the writ. We thank you for your work. I doubt Gito had the courage or intelligence to do this on his own. I wonder which of my rivals was helping him. Wonder why.